welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show, everybody. <laughs> everybody watch at home, thank you. Well, guys, the weekend kicks off the unofficial start of summer. That's right, happy Memorial Day. Yeah. To all of you. Happy Memorial Day to all of you, except for that guy in your office who sent a work email at 4.59 p.m. You go, no, we're not reading it, Carl. I have a feeling people are going to really let loose this weekend. Don't you have that feeling? By this time tomorrow, the cornhole boards would just be two guys passed out with their mouths open. Listen to this. According to AAA, nearly 40 million people are expected to travel 50 miles or more this weekend. When asked where they're going, everyone said anywhere, literally. <laughs> anywhere else. Meanwhile, with so many people traveling this weekend, gas prices are expected to skyrocket. Yeah, the bad news is gas is expensive, but good news is you have something to talk about with your father-in-law. Oh. Can you believe how expensive the gas? Gas is so expensive, when I filled up this morning, a guy in a tux was like, might I recommend the Sunoco 92? <laughs> yes, that'd be good. Excellent choice, Mr. Fowler. Speaking of traveling, a new survey finds that the majority of Americans won't take a road trip without the perfect playlist. And 35% said they'd turn the car around if they didn't have one. What's more troubling is only 8% said they'd turn the car around if they forgot one of their kids. Wow. I, he doesn't listen to my music anyway. Yeah, you spend days making the perfect playlist, then you spend the whole trip trying to connect your phone to the car's Bluetooth. It's really fun. All right, everyone turn the Bluetooth off. Everyone turn... Now I gotta pull over, here we go. Then we're gonna have fun, then we're gonna have fun. Everyone turn it off! Get this according to the National Hot Dog and Sausage Council. <laughs> 73% of Americans believe that a barbecue is not complete without hot dogs. I think the bigger story here is that we have a National Hot Dog and Sausage yeah. Council. Come on. Send me a t-shirt, man. Number one. A lot of Americans are going to barbecues this weekend, and sometimes you have good barbecues, sometimes you have bad ones. So we actually came up with some, some clues, some warnings to help you guys realize that you're at a bad one. So if you see this, so for example, if you're at, a, you're at a bad barbecue, if your neighbor's wearing an apron that says, French kiss the chef. Oh. Yeah, it's disgusting. That's gross. Really? Yeah. Uh, here we go. Uh, it, this warning here, a 911 call includes the words grandpa, lawn dart, and impale. Oh. That, that means you're at a bad barbecue. That's a bad one? It, this is a bad one, yeah. Here's another warning, bad one. The, the neighbor's teenage son sneaking shots of lighter fluid. Okay. Don't have him burp by the grill. Yeah. Also, uh, here's another warning. Good news, there's beer pong. Bad news, it's with Natty Light Sour Seltzer. Oh. That was a mixed reaction. Someone out there likes that. Someone likes that. Is that real? I'm not afraid of it. I'll try it. And finally, warning, a guy with seven fingers says, who wants to shoot off some fireworks? Just some warning signs. Just a couple. If you see those, just know. Well, changing gears today, Senate Republicans voted to block the January 6th commission that would investigate the Capitol riots. Uh, after the vote, Republicans said they'll gladly explain their decision in an upcoming q and I mean, Q&A. <laughs> Thank you. That's a great crowd. Mark. Senate Republicans said they'd rather investigate something more important, like why wasn't Paul Rudd in the Friends reunion? Come on! That makes more sense. Here's some good news right here. This weekend, all New York beaches will be open, and vaccine buses will be stationed on a few of them. And just, just to make sure they attract a crowd, all the vaccine buses will play the Mr. Softy jingle. Yeah, the vaccine buses are a great idea because when they're done, they can just toss the needles on the beach with all the others. Hey, what are you going to do? Hey, come on. We're at the beach. Hey, I'm with the Sausage Council. That's hey. right. We work for the Sausage Council. What he said. Uh, another sign that we're returning to normal, Costco is bringing back their free samples. Don't worry, though, they're, they're still being careful. Now a Costco employee will just slingshot a cheese cube into your mouth. <laughs> Some more business news. American Airlines just announced that they're partnering with Rosetta Stone to offer language courses to passengers during flights. Ooh. You think someone kicking your seat is tough? Imagine sitting next to some guy sounding out French for six hours. 
bonjour, 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 au revoir, au revoir, au revoir, au revoir, au revoir, au revoir, bonjour, bonjour, au revoir, John Barr. John Barr, au revoir, everyone. <laughs> Love it. That's right, the airline's also offering courses like photography. So flying isn't awkward enough. Just wait till a stranger's snapping photos of you sleeping. <laughs> You look, you look beautiful and peaceful. <laughs> well, this made me laugh. Yesterday, a CNN reporter was preparing for a live shot when he realized a cicada was on him. Take a look at this. So, so am I going to be in the break? I mean, the same block out of this, or am I going to take a break? OK. Oh! Oh, my God! <laughs> cicada. <laughs> Everyone in the control room was like, uh, they just sat back like, all right, let's just see how this, let's see how this plays out. Let's not say anything. <laughs> Speaking of cicadas, a photographer in Virginia has recently picked up an interesting new hobby. Check this out. We started with my son's fire truck. I decided to do a cicada rock band. Cicadas doing archery. The cicada was lifting. Look, ping pong. Okay, so clearly not everyone made it through quarantine. Okay? Ping pong. Okay. Uh, guys, finally, as I mentioned, Monday is Memorial Day, and people are excited to go to barbecues again. I love a good old-fashioned potluck where everyone brings a side, but there's nothing worse than when no one wants to eat your side. Here, let me explain with The Tonight Show Tiny Song. It's my first barbecue in two can't wait to see my friends and crack some beers. They brought fruit salad and brought rum lemonade, but no one's touched the thing that I made. Somebody eat my carrot slaw. Please, somebody eat my carrot slaw. Heard someone ask, hey, what's that supposed to be? Glad my grandma's not, cause it's her recipe. Somebody eat my carrot slaw. Somebody eat my carrot slaw. No one put it on their plate. Even though I'm right here saying, doesn't this look great? Now I'm leaving the party. Can't look people in the eye. So I'll just throw it in my freezer till the 4th of July. Give it up for the roots, everybody. We have to do it again. We have to do it again. We gotta do it again. <laughs> wow, that's what I call sausage council. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, I wanted to give a, uh, a quick shout out to our friend Lady Gaga, oh. because uh, <laughs> we we love her. And this week is the tenth anniversary of her album Born This Way, oh. and uh, she's been a great friend of the show. 
It's her first number one album. Uh, this, this record is just so important to so many people, and uh, uh, we just wanted to give her some love. <laughs> 